Um, so I would say the three areas that new nurses struggle the most, the one, it's the biggest one, is going to be confidence. And you're coming in new and everything is just overwhelming at first. Uh, the second thing I would say is definitely documentation. It's just a learning curve. Um, from nursing school, you're taught very specific you know, ways to do things, and then you come to a different institution where their expectations are different, and it's very documentation heavy. Um, so again, just kind of being patient with yourself and knowing that it gets easier. The more that you do it, the better that you'll get. We're also always using critical thinking skills. Sometimes when a provider puts an order in and I'm not really sure why, I'm always asking the question why. Why did they order this medication? Why did they order a repeat test? Why did they order repeat imaging? And that's gonna go a long way. It's testing your critical thinking skills and everything that you've learned and prepared for. Biggest one that I see them struggle with is time management. Um, that's something that's learned as you progress. It's not something that new nurses are going to have right off the bat. So that's why we usually start with one patient. That way we, they can just give their full energy to one patient. And then after a while, I'll give them another patient so that they can start balancing out, like who gets priority. Um, if both patients are calling at the same time, who do they go see first? Getting caught up in tasks, trying to finish things, um, honing in on things that are kind of focused in on one thing versus seeing the patient as a whole. Um, they get worried about doing certain things that are task related that sometimes they don't see the big picture or the critical thinking part. We go through school and knowledge is, is taught and we go through our clinicals and our preceptor in our clinicals teach us task things. So when they come to a hospital or an organization and there's different policies and procedures they get they get focused on task so that's one of the things that I see so the top three areas I see a lot of new grads struggling in is firstly and first and foremost is time management nothing in nursing school can prepare you for how absolutely gut-wrenchingly short of a time that you have, especially when your patient's critical, or let's say you have five patients asking for a billion and a million things at the same time. Having those time management skills is especially important to develop during the preceptorship time period, because once you're alone, it's not that you're absolutely alone by yourself, because you'll have the team with you, but you have a lot of responsibility on your shoulders. Having that time management skill pretty much on lockdown by the end of preceptorship is something I like to recommend that you can work on. Secondarily, for a new grad, something that's really hard to get across to is the emotional baggage it has during being a nurse. When I was in my nursing school, a lot of times that I struggled with was being able to emotionally get myself prepared for the stressful things that can happen within this career. Nothing in my past experience in my whole life could prepare me for that moment. So that was something that I struggled with. And lastly is, is work-life balance because a lot of the time we have a lot of our mental and our physical time spent here at the facility that it's really easy to take that home with us. And when you take it home with you, you're unable to really enjoy things outside of the hospital. You're unable to sleep well sometimes because you're so stressed about work. And I think finding that balance between work and life outside of work is really important, especially within that first year as a new grad. So for our new nurses, like we want you to succeed and we don't want to see anyone fail that seems like a failure to us too like you know we didn't provide you with the education or the support that we needed to so um, nobody wants to see you leave we're happy you're here um, you know I haven't seen too many people fired as new grads one case the nurse was sleeping during her shift which is obviously like inappropriate um, so as long as you're not doing anything crazy like that or obviously like falsifying documentation you know you want to be whatever you're charting it's it's a legal document you want to make sure that you are actually doing that but when if you make little mistakes you know recently we had a new nurse give a little bit too much medication and we worked with her on that and we did a little bit extra education and um, you know, we followed her a bit more closely to make sure that she was safe and she understood the importance of all of the checks and, you know, her actions. And we made sure, and then she was fine. And now she's like a successful independent nurse. Um, so mistakes, while we don't want them to happen, they're learning experiences. And as long as you can take the feedback 
and kind of adjust um, what you need to, then you will be totally fine. Thanks for watching. To get full access to our Simple Nursing New Grad Prep course filled with tons of helpful tips and tricks, simply click the link in our description below. Remember, don't be scared, be prepared. Ensure a smooth transition into your nursing career with our new course. See you guys there.